Hey, it's a laundry day. Q and A. Hold on, I got my laundry going in the back. My dog is over here. There he is. You ready? Are you ready for the Q and A? I'm a little warm today. P.S. It is well, not currently 81 degrees, but that was the high today in Minneapolis. Like, that's insanity. This is the end of October. This is nuts. So. Gotta put the hair up. I hope you can hear my laundry going. It's over there. And I'm finally, finally getting to actually um, doing my parents' laundry. <laughs> I gotta bring that over after it's all done. So, yeah. All right, hair is up. I am feeling better, so we are good. So, I posted on the Instagrams and the Facebooks all of the postings about send me your questions if you want questions answered. So quite a few of you responded. I'm gonna make this video a little bit longer than last time. Um, I did get some complaints that it wasn't long enough that you guys wanted more questions answered. So let's do this. So here was my little icon thing that I used. So let's just get right to it. I've got 22 questions on Instagram and then I'll do some Facebook questions too. I'm just gonna do random ones and if I like your comment, that means that I answered your question. So this will be up soon, obviously. First one is, do you believe in aliens? Um, I mean, I kinda guess so. I, I think it's kind of strange for us to think that we're the only life forms, like humans are all the only I mean, intelligent life forms, I mean, like animals and stuff too, and all that jazz. But um, yeah, I think it's kind of ignorant for me to think that there isn't other life out there. So yeah, I guess so. This is a great question. Which area of Minnesota would you recommend for a first time visitor from the UK? It's somewhere I've always wanted to visit, but I'm not sure where to start. Recent subscriber who loves your channel here, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Um, okay, so my go-to two times of the year in Minnesota is basically right now, but like a couple of weeks before right now. I'll get into that in a second. My second is State Fair. State Fair is amazing. It's at the end of August and goes till Labor Day weekend in September. If you've never been, it's amazing. The food is so good. It's all fried food. So if you're like, not into cheese and not into fried things, like maybe you should set this one out. But I will tell you, probably Duluth, which is like Northern Minnesota, Lake Superior, is probably the best fall leaves of the season. Um, they actually have like some sort of tracker or something online. Can I help you? I swear the dog like knows when the camera's on. So anyway, there is a like tracker or something online to like show where the best leaves are. Um, when I'm talking about leaves, I'm talking about fall leaves. So like when the trees start to die, they have these beautiful, beautiful colors and they're like bright orange and bright yellow and like fire engine red and they're all, oh, they're so beautiful. But I would recommend Duluth in the fall. So at the very end of September, early, October-ish is usually a really great time and then also Minneapolis St. Paul St. Paul well actually yeah I think it's technically St. Paul is where the state fair is held at but honestly the state isn't that big so if you've got a rental car you could you know obviously fly into like Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport because that's where I would fly into and then you can grab a car and then go up to Duluth so anyway uh, those are my two things that I would highly recommend um, a lot of people come here and they're like, oh my god, I want to go to Mall of America. Like, mm, yeah, uh, okay. So here's my thoughts of Mall of America. Like, think about every single mall you've ever been to and they just like threw up on each other. Like, that's what Mall of America is kind of like. It's a lot and if you aren't like going for a specific reason, um, it's already overwhelming if you're going for a specific reason to be honest because I've gone there several times for just like going to one store or two stores and I get overwhelmed, I'm just like, oh my god, there's just too many people. But if you like crowds, I guess that's a good place to go. And oh, by the way, Minnesota State Fair, lots of crowds. Tip, go early in the morning. Go right away as soon as they open, like eight, nine o'clock, I can't remember what time they open. And they have like the best weather because it's still kind of cool from like the evening. So it's not like blazing hot, which is like a super plus. And then if you're done by like noon, one o'clock too, that's when it starts to get really busy. So that's my state fair tips. Okay, 
that was a really long answer because now I'm like six minutes in. So hopefully future Emily can clip some of that out. Uh, another question, what motivated you to start a YouTube channel? Any advice on how to get one started? By the way, I love your channel and how down to earth you are. Well, thank you. Um, all right, so what motivated me to start a YouTube channel? Oh, you know, I always wanted to do it and I watched years of YouTube. Like I probably watched YouTube for about three years or so before I actually started my own channel. You know what tripped me up the most, which like is gonna sound crazy because it's like not the answer to your question, but was what to name my channel. I knew I didn't wanna do my name, like my first and last name. I knew I didn't wanna do that. But it was like, what do I name my channel? I don't know what to name my channel. I'm not that creative. I'm not that unique. Like, what, why do I name my channel? Because at that point, I didn't know what my channel was going to be about. I just knew that I wanted my channel to be about me. So I didn't want to pigeonhole myself into like just beauty or just fashion or just lifestyle or just vlogging or just planning or just anything. Like I wanted it to just be me and all of me so I could just share what I wanted to share. Um, I watched tons of people that had like three or four different channels and it was like just put everything on one channel like I want to see you because I want to see you and then if I see something that's like a fashion video and I don't like your fashion videos I'm just not gonna click on your fashion videos so anyway that's what a lot of them have done since but um yeah, I don't know. That was like my biggest hurdle to be completely honest, which is crazy. But um, so getting started was difficult because of that reason, which is crazy because it's like, I just feel like I wanted everything to be perfect and that people would understand my channel with my name. Okay, so nobody understands my channel with my name and that's totally fine. So I don't really mind because not everyone understands like favorite daughter Emily, like it's a joke. And my dad calls me the favorite daughter and my brother the favorite son and there's only the two of us, so like, ha ha ha, funny, funny, funny. So uh, that's that's where the name came from. Um, so anyways, to answer your other question, any advice on how to get one started, just do it. Uh, start talking to the little weird black box in front of you. Uh, start editing, use the regular like editing software that you already have on your computer. So whether you have a Mac or a PC, there's usually a video editing uh, you know, program that comes with it. I've still never invested in any kind of video editing anything because I feel like I don't need it. If and when that happens where I wanna up my video production or I wanna do some other things that iMovie doesn't allow me to do, then maybe I'll buy it, but they are very expensive. Uh, um, and I just haven't had the need for it. So just do it, practice. If you want to, you can delete old videos. I know some people that actually have videoed themselves and practiced editing for like a year or many, many months previous to them actually posting anything, or you can keep everything private on YouTube as well so nobody else sees it but you. Like, I don't know. Like. Just do whatever makes you feel comfortable and only share what you feel comfortable sharing. And yeah, that's that's what I would do. Um, okay, another question, which is a good question. When paying off debt, are you a fan of the snowball method or paying off the highest interest loan first? I'm a fan of the snowball method because you get traction. Um, what she's referring to is the Dave Ramsey plan. I will link the Dave Ramsey website down below and uh, you guys can check it out if you're interested. Who's your favorite beauty YouTuber? Well, I will have to say, I feel bad because I have like totally been slacking on watching her videos lately because I've been so busy like training into my new job and dealing with my old job and you you know YouTube all that stuff. So um, Makeup by Tiffany D is my favorite YouTuber. Oh that does beauty by the way. This is a great question. Is Minnesota where you will stay for the rest of your life or do you plan on moving again? Um, Minnesota is where I grew up so if nobody knows that I grew up in Minnesota, just north of Minneapolis is where I grew up, in a town called Fridley. And yeah, so I know a lot of you have kind of been on my journey because I started my YouTube channel when I lived in Fargo, North Dakota. So I think many of you actually think that I'm from North Dakota, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but now I am back um, just north of the cities, but not like right north of the cities where Fridley is. Like I'm way further north now, but it's not too far away. And um, you know, the answer to your question is yes, I will probably move again. Um, I am probably not gonna be in Minnesota for the rest of my life to be completely honest. I always thought if I didn't have my job in Fargo that I would go move somewhere else. I don't know why. I actually lived in, lived in North Carolina for a time and I absolutely loved, loved that state. So if you're in North Carolina, I'm like really jealous of you right now because I want to be you. Um, it's like the best weather, <laughs> I have to say. And uh, yeah, so 
I don't know. I don't know where I would live. It would depend on the circumstances. Um, you know, if I had a partner or somebody I was living with or something, it would depend on like their wants and needs too, but I don't know. But I don't see myself living in Minnesota for the rest of my life, to be honest. What is your natural hair color? Would you consider going darker? My natural hair color is this, whatever this is. Hi, Doyle. It's not Doyle. It's this color right here. Um, I get like whatever that's called, that balayage stuff done to my hair. So it's kind of like these strips. Um, would I consider going darker? Um, I have in the past, but it does age me quite a bit, which is why I liked it when I was younger. I like looked like a whole heck of a lot older. Um, yeah, actually my senior year photos, I don't know where they are, you guys, but I have like dark chocolate brown hair and I loved the way it looked, but here's the issue. When I dyed my hair dark, my hair like went right back to kind of this medium brown, lightish brown. It was actually lighter when I was like in high school um, pretty quickly. So the color just didn't like stay saturated, but whatever. So yes, I have considered going dark. I don't think... Well, I shouldn't say this, but maybe I will at some point, but I don't know. I kind of like the lighter situation. How old is your car and do you plan on replacing it soon? So my car is a 2009 Toyota Corolla and I actually bought it at the very tail end of 2008. Um, I don't plan on replacing it soon because it's doing really well and I take it in for all of its like regularly scheduled maintenance and all of that. I actually just got new tires last week. Um, so no, I don't think I'm going to be replacing it anytime soon. Uh, Toyota Corollas usually have a really good track record if you take care of them. And that is my plan with that car. Um, I'm not going to replace it until the value of like actually fixing it or fixing whatever problem exceeds the value of the car. So um, yeah, that's uh, my plan. But I will be starting a sinking fund, which is another question someone else asked somewhere. Um, in 2018 for either vehicle maintenance or vehicle replacement and I'll go over that in January. Doyle, can you like, because there, there's like this little dog and he just keeps like getting on me. Get, get. Do you want to answer some questions? Is that what's going on? Oh, your hair is getting like stuck in my nose, man. Oh, when do you think you finished up painting your upstairs trim white? If I remember correctly, you only did the baseboards at first. Also, did you figure out what to hang on the walls by your bedside tables? No, I didn't. Um, all of the baseboard trim upstairs is done. However, the doors and the trim around the doors upstairs is not done. So that's what I need to work on. And no, I never figured out what to hang on my bedside table things that I don't know. I don't know guys. I just need to get inspired. I'm going to Home Goods tomorrow, so like maybe I'll get inspired. I don't know. What are some of your favorite shows that you binge watch on Netflix? Uh, also, do you have any other subscription services like Hulu, Amazon Video, etc.? I have like Amazon Prime, but I don't use the like Amazon Video. I don't do Hulu. I just have Netflix. Um, favorite shows to binge watch? Ozark was a new one that I found, which I love because I love Jason Bateman because he's like delicious. But anyway, um, Ozark is really good. And also, I really like Sons of Anarchy. That was a good binge. I'm currently watching Pretty Little Liars. Like, I'm almost done with the entire series, but I'm like still not like totally into it. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like a little bit of everything. Oh, Scandal. How can I forget Scandal? How to Get Away with Murder. I think that's all I can think of at the moment. This person has a lot of questions. So what is your favorite day of the week? Probably Friday. What is your middle name? It is Jean. That is my mom's name, so that's why I'm Emily Jean. And then are you a saver or a spender? This is gonna shock a lot of people. I'm actually a spender, but I really like goal-oriented things and saving kind of helped me with my goal orientation. So I'm kind of a little bit of both, but yeah, I'm probably a spender. <laughs> is there anything you've done to the new house you already don't like? No, I actually really enjoy everything and I'm really excited to start more projects soon. Would you do a clean with me video? Your house looks serene and clean. I feel like I'm always cleaning and still find fur baby fur everywhere. If not in a video, any advice how to keep hair minimal? Um, my house is a disaster like most of the time, but um, I use like the same color palette so probably all just like blends into each other. As for like pet hair, 
Um, about once a week, sometimes even twice a week, I get like little Doyle fur balls, especially downstairs because of the hard floors. And what I tend to do is I have like a little dust buster and I just like zoom, like vacuum them up. And then also I have a Bissell Crosswave. I will leave a link below for the dust buster that I have and the Bissell Crosswave if you guys are interested. The Bissell Crosswave actually vacuums the hard floors if you want it to and then also like mops them. It's kind of amazing. It's a little expensive but it's like totally worth it and it's super satisfying because you like have this like little drum that all the liquid goes into and then you see how like disgusting and dirty it is because it like goes back into it oh my god it's kind of amazing not sure if i'd ever do a cleaning video but maybe i don't know uh this one says doyle dog hello from finn sassy and hector how old how long have you had him where did you get him from what is where is his name from love that face of his okay uh, how old is he? He is almost 11. He'll be 11 in January. How long have I had him? Uh, since he was eight weeks old. And where did you get him from? I got him from a breeder in Worthington, Minnesota. I don't think that they breed Shivas anymore. They were actually like a, like a cattle farmer and they did breeding on the side. And I think they did Shiba Inus and I think they did Shih Tzus also. Um, and where is his name from? He is named after Doyle Brunson, the famous poker player. Someone asked, will you be doing sinking funds in 2018? Yes, I will. Um, what's your favorite Halloween candy? I don't know, anything with chocolate. So that's gonna be it for the Instagram questions, but let's answer some Facebook questions because this video is getting long. I'm trying to make it longer and more interesting for you guys. All right, so on the Facebook, let's do this. This person asks, two questions one of them i've already answered uh, it says what is your favorite day of the week and why friday just because it's the end of the week and why not um and it also says did you tell everyone in your life that you were a youtuber or did you keep those worlds separate and why um i've never been like hey y'all i have a special announcement i am a youtuber um <laughs> that'd be kind of weird if I did, I mean, maybe I should, I don't know. But um, to be honest, like on my Facebook, these are questions off of Facebook. Um, on my Facebook, I link most of my videos on my regular like private page, like my own personal page. Um, and then I obviously link them on my like public page that's down in the um, description box below. If you guys are interested in following me, you can. But um, I don't know, I guess I never really made an announcement about it. People do ask me about it once in a while or if they have like a product or a service or if they just have some questions about like online marketing and like Instagram followers and like that kind of stuff, people will sometimes reach out to me. But um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I never really, I never really kept them separate but I also didn't keep them apart deliberately or anything, so no. Ah, this is a good question, especially for right now because I'm like a hot mess. Um, Janet asks, oh, how is the skincare haul you recently did from Sephora going? Well, it's going good. And you guys can see, I have this like really big zit and it's like under the skin. It's so irritating because I just want to pick it. But it's because I've been like taking better care of my skin. So some of the stuff is kind of like bubbling up to the surface so I can like clean it out. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's actually going really good and I'm excited to try all my new things. All right, next question. Uh, besides your electrical projects, are there any other projects you have planned for the house? Yes, painting all of the trim here uh, and doors and then also uh, painting all of the cabinets. So doing that in both of the bathrooms and the kitchen. So those are my next like big projects. And once those are complete, then I can do some other renovations that I have planned. But th that's like a five year plan, guys. That's like not gonna happen for a long time. Or unless I get like a crazy amount of income or something, but it's it's in the works, it's in the works. What made you change your mind about the couches? Um, what this person is probably referring to is that I was thinking about getting a leather sofa and getting like a reclining leather sofa where my new sofa is and I got a Ethan Allen, I think it's the Emerson, yeah, the Emerson Quick Ship Ethan Allen sofa, which is like a fabric. And really the reason that I changed my mind is because I talked to my friend Kristen. Um, she lives out in Boston and she's got two Shebas. I've actually been to her home before and she's got a big, big leather sectional. And 
she had major problems with her dogs on her furniture and I let my dogs on my furniture. I know I got a couple of comments like, oh, that's such bad behavior, like Doyle's on the furniture already, like bad habits, blah, blah, blah. Dude, he's allowed on the furniture. Like, don't get it twisted. This is like his couch. I just get to sit on it once in a while, okay? Like, that's how it is. Her dogs never like scratched at her so far or anything, but there was like these big like void spots that would happen over time. So I was actually just talking, or I was talking to her about it. Um, like she asked me, I think she saw a post of mine or something that I was like interested in probably getting a leather sofa and she's like, don't do it. Like she called me and was like, don't do it. So um, I think she's planning on purchasing a sofa coming up, you know, in the next year or two. And she's gonna go with a fabric sofa as well. Cause she's like, they're easy to clean. You can take the slip covers off and, you know, or whatever, like whatever type of cleaning method it is. But um, yeah, that finish was like rubbing off funny. So she's like, I'm never doing a leather sofa again. She's like, maybe a leather chair, but not a sofa. Um, so yeah, that's why I changed my mind. And also I couldn't really find anything I wanted in a leather reclining sofa to be completely honest. So, um, yeah, I just, I never saw anything I liked. And then I, on a whim, went to Ethan Allen with a friend of mine after, I think we had lunch one day, like a lunchy dinner thing. And, uh, I was like, oh, everything's going to be like way too expensive, like six, $7,000. And I was like, oh wait, this one's like exactly what I wanted to spend. Like, all right, let's, uh, let's do it. Oh, actually I took my mom there first and then, and then I said, let's do it. This is a very interesting question. It says, have you ever done a budget as a couple? What are some tips you may have? Well, this person's name is Casey. Well, Casey, let me tell you, uh, that would be a no. Even though I have lived with two people I've been in a relationship with, we have never done budgets together. Um, so yeah, so I don't have any tips besides communicate I don't know how to do it I don't know I do budgets with Doyle and then he doesn't listen and he spends all of his free money on bacon so I don't know how to control him ah where did you get your clear coffee mugs from I got them from Target and I think they are if I remember right anchor anchor brand if I remember right but yeah clear coffee mugs I got them at Target and I think they're the Anchor brand, but I don't know if they carry those anymore or if it's like they created their own threshold brand. I don't know, but I love them and they're amazing. And let's end on this question for Facebook. And this one says, are you happy? Sure thing. I'm surely happy. All right. So on the last Q and A on the uh, FDE, YouTube channel, which this is what you're watching right now. I asked if you guys had any questions and then if you did, post them below and I got a couple of responses. So let's see what kind of questions that I haven't answered yet. <laughs> this was funny. Do you ever date? Not really. Um, have you ever had a boyfriend? Yes. Had several. <laughs> On the next vlog, can you let us know how Doyle is doing with the new sofa? Actually, I'll let you know right now. He's doing very well with it and he really enjoys it. Random question, can you see who likes and dislikes your videos? Um, maybe, I've never, I know there's like a bunch of like analytic things you can do with your channel. I don't really, I don't pay attention to care. I mean, I care, don't get me wrong, I care about you guys. But I don't care about the people that thumbs me down, like, if you thumbs down the video and you watch the whole thing or even watched a second of it, I mean, it sounds like you might have some problems. So I don't know. Cause I don't do clickbaity videos. I don't do videos that are not relevant to the title. Like if you don't want to watch a planner video, just don't watch a planner video. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. It's fine. I, I really don't care. Uh, someone says, how many planners do you use? I currently use one. <laughs> Can you do a what's in your bag post? I like the brown bag that's behind you. What brand is it? Um, the brand is actually Coach and it's from several years ago and I got it at the outlet. Um, I think it's Coach. It's downstairs, I don't know. Um, this was like in my video, which I'm weirdly watching myself because you can't like not watch it and look at the videos or like look at the comments. Um, but yeah, I believe it's coach it's from several years ago and yeah, maybe I'll do a what's in my bag video on it I see where some people get cartilage piercings to help with migraines. Have you looked at it? No Um, I'm not like Into I think they get like this little I don't I don't know they get something pierced 
no, no, I, I really, I really don't want to do that. So that's going to be a hard pass for me. It says, hi Emily, do you have a iPhone 7 or 8? I'm currently looking to get a new phone and wondering how you like yours. Mine is a 7 Plus um, and I really like it. If you guys are interested, I will put the um, phone case, like cover thing. I got it from Amazon and I really like it. Uh, I get questions on it once in a while. So I don't know, it was really cheap and it's like kind of like bendy, which I like. Um, so yeah, uh, I have a 7 Plus. I'm not planning on getting an 8 or one of those, I don't know, what is it, X something? I don't know what it is, the new one. Not planning on getting it until this one like completely just craps out, which will probably be soon because a new iPhone came out, so it's probably gonna be sooner rather than later. And then the last question I'm gonna answer on YouTube uh, pertains to YouTube. So it says, with your YouTube main content break, does that include budgets? I understand it's main contact, but I'm just curious. Um, yes, that includes the budgets for right now. Um, I don't know what is going to happen with my channel. Um, I know that it's, I, I know a lot of you guys have questions about like why everything is happening the way it is. I've been pretty transparent to be completely honest. Like I'm not hiding anything. There's nothing bigger going on. I'm just busy and I need a break. Um, so that being said, I don't know what's going to happen with my main channel. I still want to share budgets, um, obviously with no income anymore. And, um, so yeah, budgets are going to be a part probably of the content when it comes back. I just don't know how regular it's gonna be. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my channel. I don't know what's going on with me and my motivation. Um, I have been really enjoying taking this break from YouTube and only uploading when I want to. Um, it's been nice to just kind of like mentally decompress from the internet, um, which has actually allowed me to be more present on Instagram to be completely honest like I'm posting like several times a day because I'm like excited to share things with you guys where before I really felt like it was a chore um like because I don't know you can't you can't see my feed very well because the thing is like super bright come on come on but like I don't know I'm just like I'm posting a lot more because I'm enjoying what I'm posting um, I'm enjoying sharing a lot more um, where before it just, it felt like such a chore and it was just like, ugh, I don't want to share. I'm so burnt out. I didn't want to share anything. And, um, I would share from time to time, but there's like, you can go back in my feed and I tried not to post like video postings, like back to back to back. So I would like literally put in like a picture of my dog in the middle of them because it's like, ooh, I already posted something like that. I don't want to do that. So yeah, <laughs> like it's kind of sad. So if you go back, you can kind of see my problems. So I don't know. I mean, I'm going to still share. I'm, my channel's still going to be around. I'm still going to post. I just don't know what that schedule looks like. So I hope you guys stick with me and hang out with me in the interim. And I'm gonna give you guys more updates as this month comes to a close and Vlogtober comes to a close as well because um, I may or may not have any decisions by then, but um, I will just keep you guys updated as much as I can because I don't even know what's going on half the time and it's my freaking life, you know? But anyway, that is gonna be it. This video is hella long and if you stuck around for this entire thing, you might as well give yourself a thumbs up, you know, put it down there. You can give it a thumbs down too if you really want to and be that weirdo, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. I am gonna go switch out the laundry probably in a few minutes because it's still going. The washer is still going. I don't have the dryer going yet because I just started the laundry. Um, but I am going to do that, grab a little bit of something to eat and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye!